Okay, here we have the latest cool toy to add to the collection. This is Skelegod from the Masters of the Universe Revelation series line, uh, specifically the Mattel Masterverse line here in conjunction with the Netflix animated series. Uh, obviously this is a bit of a spoiler alert because as of the making of this video, this series is not out yet. So we're getting figures and we don't really know anything about them or the story behind them. Uh, the animated series premieres on July 23rd, specifically on Netflix. So that's when we'll have to learn more about Skelegod specifically. We got a pretty big package. He is a pretty big figure. The scale for this new Masterverse line. On the left-hand side of the package, we've got Skelegod, Cosmic Lord of Destruction. On the right-hand side of the package, we got a nice painting of Skelegod looking all demonic in space. And then around the back, we've got a brief character bio. This is basically the only information we have on Skelegod since the show is yet out. And we also have that same kind of glorious Masters of the Universe aesthetic that, you know, a nice painting decor of the imagery of Skelegod. And then we also get a look at the other figures that are going to be coming out in this line. So we got Battle Cat, He-Man, Moss Man, Skeletor, and Evil Lynn. As of right now, Target is exclusive to Battle Cat and Skelegod. Originally, everyone thought all these were going to be exclusive to Target, but these will be limited exclusives. So Skelegod and Battle Cat, you can find at Target. He-Man, Moss Man, Skeletor, and Evil Lynn will be exclusive for a limited time at Walmart. And then shortly after that time frame expires, these figures will be available to all retailers. So don't fret if you can't initially find them. But let's go ahead and get them out of the packaging, check them out up close and personal, and learn more about Skelegod. But before we do that, we've got to give a special shout out to today's video sponsor, Skillshare. Shout out to Skillshare for sponsoring this video and all the work they do helping creators on this platform. Have you heard of Skillshare? Well, let me educate you. Skillshare is an online learning community with thousands of inspiring classes for creators. You can explore new skills, deepen existing passions, and get lost in creativity. It's curated specifically for learning, meaning there are no ads and they're always rolling out new classes for you to discover, so you can stay focused and follow along with ease. It's less than $10 a month with an annual subscription, and I just recently finished watching YouTube Success script, shoot, and edit with MKBHD, and it's always been fascinating to me personally to see the creative process of others, and this class provides wonderful insight as to how you can create the most compelling content with whatever tools you have around you. No fancy or expensive equipment required. The first 1,000 of my subscribers to click the link in the description will get a free trial of the premium membership so you can explore your creativity. So if you're looking to enhance your creativity, make sure you take advantage of this free trial deal. All right, here we have the demonic overlord himself, Mr. Skelegod, getting the tape measure out. He is right at eight inches tall at the tallest point of his shoulder pad armor. Speaking of shoulder pad armor, it is uh, very reminiscent of the Legion of Doom, AKA the Road Warriors wrestling tag team. I mean, that's immediately what it makes me think of when I see this spiky shoulder pad. Um, it is a soft, pliable plastic, so you don't have to worry about poking your eye out or anything like that. Uh, get these nice green accents here and these shoulder pads on the front and the back. Um, very, you know, Skeletor colorway with the, the green and the purple type of aesthetic. You also get these green hits in the gauntlets there that look like eyeballs as well. So he's definitely got that uh, demonic look to him. The shoulder pad armor is completely removable. Just pop off his head, pop off this neck collar and you can take off the shoulder pads. Um, his cape is also removable. It's held on by two magnets in there, which is kind of impressive. That's something new we haven't seen in quite a long time. The armor aesthetic, obviously, it's very uh, reminiscent of medieval times. So we got soft uh, metallic hip armor over here, but it is soft plastic uh, loincloth as well. But the knee pads, these things right here are very solid and very hard. So if you were gonna poke yourself in the eye, that would be the item that you would definitely gouge yourself with. He does have his monster feet, which is great, but he is a pretty tall, imposing figure as he should be because he's Skelegod, whatever that means, I guess we'll find out. But obviously a super powered overlord version of Skeletor. Get the nice purple and, well, not purple, more like a, you know, a lavender and a green H for his chest armor there. Uh, he's got a, a navy skin tone to him, as opposed to the lighter blue aesthetic that we've previously seen with Skeletor. So obviously this is an updated version of the character. Face definitely lives up to the name. He has a very skeleton face, nice details. Uh, he's got yellow eyes. 
on here. The horns, we've got some nice line work here in the horns, individual ram horn aesthetic to it. Also got some, you know, horns coming out of the front of his helmet there. But overall, he's a pretty imposing, crazy looking figure. Articulation, because this did tout 30 points of articulation. Let's go ahead and cover it. So his head is going to be able to look not far up at all. That's as far as it's going to get down. Again, a little ways down. Side to side, not going to be a whole lot just because of the ram horns, obviously. And of course, you can spin it 360 degrees around. His arms. Now, obviously, his shoulder pads are going to get in the way and hinder some of his range of mobility. So again, you could take that off if you want to, or you could just live with it. But that's as far upwards as his arm is going to be able to get. You're going to have 360 degree rotation at the shoulder. You're also going to have a swivel, so a 360 degree rotation at the bicep. We have double hinge joints at the arm. And then we also have, you know, rotation at the gauntlet. 360 degree rotation of his wrist, as well as a horizontal hinge. His upper torso, so his chest up here. Gonna be able to crunch him a little bit forward, not too much. But significantly, you know, compared to the forward motion, you will be able to get him to bend back significantly much more. You won't be able to spin it a whole lot, but you can 360 degree rotate that upper torso, but man, it is tight. And his lower leg torso, you can spin it 360 degree as well. Now his legs are on a ball and socket joint, so you can get him to do a pretty good split. Be able to kick his leg that far forward. And not far back at all because it's going to hit his diaper underneath here. So backwards, not too impressive, but he does have a double jointed knee, so you still can kick yourself in the back or the butt, however you wish. We do have a thigh cut up top, so you're gonna 360 degree rotation at the thigh. So it already covered the knee. We do have a boot cut, so 360 degree rotation at the boot. And the ankles, you'll be able to rock that far forward, that far down, and then 360 degree rotation as well. You have peg holes at the bottom of the feet, and the cape, as we mentioned, is removable as well. So. Lots of great articulation for him. The cape, nice purple aesthetic. We got different shades of purple. And then we also have these nice uh, gemstone diamonds that are, you know, kind of weighing down. We got a, a diamond on both sides. And then we got a dark purple and some lighter purple trim here at the bottom. Nice soft goods, you know, a nice accessory to really drive home his you know, overlord status as Skelegod. Accessories, he does come with two interchangeable hands. Looking at these, uh, definitely, you know, you see the aesthetic of the medieval armor. So it's almost like the chain mail. So he's got the raised edges on the knuckles and the individual fingers, the pointy claw like hands, but these are good for gripping. So you get a left and a right hand, both same essential hands, just the same kind of posture to you know, counter his open palm grip that he already has. You get this giant green semi-translucent ball of fire. Uh, if you're Todd McFarlane, Todd McFarlane would call this necro energy for sure. But ideally what you do is you take one of these semi-closed gripping hands, you're gonna put it in there, you're gonna make a fist, and then you'd attach that onto his hand and then you'll be able to do your best Street Fighter II Ryu Hadouken impersonations with this fireball. And of course, he does come with the power sword, and this thing is pretty, uh, pretty cool. It is not a half or anything; it's a full power sword. Go ahead and load him up with his power sword. Hand does pop off pretty easily. It's not super loose like it was falling off, but um, I, I would prefer it to be a little stiffer. The gauntlet does come off as you remove his hand, so you can take off the gauntlets if you wish, or you can just slide it right back on there when you're ready. Just take the hand, pop it in the socket. And there we go. We've got Skelegod holding the power sword. Shoulder armor is going to, again, prevent it to go super high, but that's about as high as you're going to be able to get it naturally above his head without having to remove the shoulder armor. Like I said, great, great looking figure. Hopefully the show, you know, kind of explains a little more about him. But overall, I'm excited about this new Masterverse line. 
if you want to pick up this, I'll put a product link down in the video description box below because he is available at Target right now in store and online intermittently. So if you're looking to pick one up, go ahead and click one of those and grab yourself this great looking Skele God figure. If you enjoyed the content, make sure you hit that like button, share this video with your friends if you found the information helpful. And as always, thanks for watching guys. It really means a lot. Thank you.